take one out and see if it would work for my family. Putting it on the trailer, coming into the dock. Should be pretty easy. <laughs> it's, it's just like a jet ski. So this is the brand new 2023 Sea-Doo Switch. It's got a 230 horsepower Rotax engine by BRP. We're gonna take it out for a spin today. So with the Switch, we are towing it today with the Raptor. So the Raptor has a 2.5 ton tow capacity. So the weight of the Sea-Doo is 1,156 kilograms. So well under the 2.5 ton that the Raptor can tow. Uh, the Raptor has been towing absolutely beautifully. Uh, I would like to see dual axles on this trailer. I think it would tow a lot nicer, uh, but yeah, it is uh, all compliant the way it is, but I would like to see a dual axle trailer. The trailer does come with the unit as well, which is a nice feature. So you do have this nice, nice ladder here to get up into the unit and then this front door here opens. I'll show you that very shortly. You do have a jockey wheel, You've got your standard trailer plug, I think these trailers are manufactured in Houston, in Texas. Got your safety chain just there. Uh, one feature I would like to see on these trailers is this adjustment slide here. Um, on any sort of off-road terrain, if you're reversing the trailer, this uh, brake would, would, does apply, so it actually pushes back in. So obviously when you're driving, the trailer inertia coming forward will apply the brakes for you. But unfortunately, on uh, I think the spring inside here is a bit too light so when you're on off-road conditions and you try to reverse the trailer or if you're trying to reverse up a hill it's actually applying the brake so i haven't figured out if there's a feature here to to stop that from happening normally in australia you have a clip latch that goes across to stop it applying the brakes but i haven't found it on this unit yet so the unit is 21 feet it has a 230 horsepower rotax engine by brp you can see the tri hull just under here with the jet ski style center section, obviously housing the 230 horsepower Rotax engine. Coming around to the back of the unit, so you can tow. Uh, so we're gonna have the kids on there today. We're gonna be taking the tube out, kneeboard, all those sorts of things. And we're gonna be towing them along today for a bit of fun. I'll jump out and I'll uh, check the plugs, put them in, take the strap off the back of the boat. So what is a sea switch? Well, it's a jet-powered pontoon boat. So essentially, just like a jet ski, controls are all the same as a jet ski, but you've got a tri-hull pontoon boat where you can take the whole family out for the day. So I've been looking at these for a couple of years now, and well, since I've been launched in America, and I wanted to take one out and see if it would work for my family and something where we can all go out together, go on the knee boards, go tubing, all that sort of stuff, and go out and have a good time all together instead of us being on jet skis individually. But I'm going to give you a quick walk around it and essentially yeah, show you a bunch of the features and stuff with it. I'm no boat expert, but this thing is a hell of a lot of fun. And if you know the basics, then you'll kind of work your way around it. But essentially, so you've got a tri hull, which is made out of the same sort of construction as what a jet ski is. So as you can see there, 
So essentially the center section is acting like your jet ski, but then you've got so much stabilization from these outer two holes as well, which is really cool. So coming up the front, this front flap here, you've got your anchor and a few tie down ropes and things like that up in the front. Probably my favorite feature of this thing is this front opening door here where you can just close the door off and then open it up and it gives you direct access from the beach straight onto the switch. So that's pretty cool. Come around the side, you do have all your navigation lights and things like that on this as well. The front section here is like a PVC sort of clear, clear barrier. Got your CD switch logo just there. Got some tie down rails if you're going to pull up to a boat ramp, things like that, up to the dock. Got your fuel just here. So we're running 91 in this thing today. And you can add a bunch of accessories on this thing too. So this is a wakeboard holder that BRP's got on here. If you're going to do some wakeboarding behind this thing. And the, the side handrails just continue all the way around the back. 230 horsepower motor. Rotax by BRP. You do have a Bimini and everything on this. You can opt for another one here on the front if you want one. That's probably what I would do if I was going to get one is put a Bimini here on the front as well. Give a bit more shade than if you don't want it, lower it down. But this has been working great for us today. So we'll jump up on the deck. And as you see, there's all these cutouts in the deck just here. And what that's for is a bunch of accessories and different seating options and these little tables and things like that that you can opt for when you buy it on how you want it all configured. And then simply by pulling these green tabs, you can move the seats around and configure the whole deck exactly how you want to have it laid out, which is pretty sick. So right now, BRP's got two tables on either corner behind the, uh, the front deck swing gate here. Essentially, that just clips in. You do have the center section here. They've got these pads down. So essentially the walk area is all padded as well. So we've got all our gear on here today. But I super like this lounge sort of setup. You can kind of sit here, kick back, hang out while we're cruising. This is where my missus has been sitting and enjoy it. How the girls have been sitting over here. And it just kind of gives you way more room than what say like a uh, a jet ski would give you where you don't have to have three jet skis or two jet skis for the family and you're not always sitting in that in that like like horse riding position here uh, you can get up move around um, it's a lot more comfortable um, I believe than riding a jet ski all day jet skis are super fun but I think this for me just for like the family aspect of it is is way more appealing so you can opt for these tables here as well so the girls have got their drinks in here Got another lounge chair just down the back here and then you've got some more cup holders seats here at the back more cup holders there in the corner and essentially under the tube here is just flat deck space so plenty of room to put accessories and stuff but uh, boards and things you can mount on the outside if that's what you want to do to save having all your deck space taken up <laughs> it's it's just like a jet ski you are uh, yeah you've got your forward reverse all the features that sea do come with uh, sort of standard on their jet skis come in this unit as well. So it's super easy to put this thing on and off the trailer um, and also navigate up to docks and things like that because you've got reverse and all that. And yeah, just as maneuverable as a jet ski. Again, it's a lot bigger, but the the features that this has like a jet ski is super cool. So you've got your um, all your lights for around it. You've got a horn and things like that navigation lights and you do have a reverse for the propeller as well in case you get something stuck in there and i think that's your bilge pump got a garmin optioned on this one too and you do have a stereo which is uh, built into this uh this control panel here as well so the main seat of the unit um you've got a bolster there if you want to sit up a bit higher but it does do a full 360 and spin around too so you can sit sideways if you want to sit sideways which is really nice. So the Bimini does fully collapse, comes all the way down and collapses down over the front of the deck here. So I'll show you some of the storage that's here under the deck. So we'll just spin these little latches here. And you've got a bunch of storage down under here as well. If you want to put some other odds and ends down there. I'm not sure if you can get bigger fuel tanks for this thing. 
What I like too is that if you're going to bring 10 people and you're going to bring the family out on this thing, is that they all have their own little spot to put all their own stuff, hats and sunscreen, towels, things like that underneath the seat. So whatever seat they're sitting on, they can essentially put their things under the seat and then that way they know where their stuff is. So I think that's, that's a really good little feature there of being able to uh, bring all your friends and family out on this and, and have a day out and that everything's not getting lost. So this model here that I've got today is a 21 foot. You can get other models in the US and Canada, but this is the first one that they're bringing to Australia at the moment. So this is the biggest one you can buy. And you can take 10 people on this unit. So we took it out the other day, just wanted to get a feel for things before I come and film and show you guys uh, what I think of it. And we went for about three hours and we used half a tank of fuel. So that's kind of giving you an estimate on how much fuel you're going to get out of this thing and how much runtime. So yeah, I'd say probably about the five to six hours, depending on how hard you're pushing it. But yeah, probably about five hours, I'd say, of uh, run time in this. And then you'd be uh, looking yeah, to get refueled. So with this, the way you control, it's just the same as a jet ski. So right now we're in forward. If I pull back on that one, it'll go into neutral. If I pull back on this and then hold it, it'll go into reverse. So just like you can maneuver a jet ski and do full 360s in reverse, you can do the same thing on the switch as well. Pull back this lever, will go back into forward. If I want to go back to neutral, pull that one. But yeah, maneuvering this thing around like putting it on the ramp or putting it on the uh, putting it on the trailer coming into the dock should be pretty easy just being jet ski controls like that so it's pretty cool so down in this compartment just here it's got phones, wallets, things like that. You've got a USB port just here to be able to charge your, charge your phone and bits and pieces. And then there's also one around the front here. Another outlet up there. This one is optioned with the Garmin. It's got the navigation charts and stuff here on the, on the Garmin as well. Which isn't bad. And you can put a sonar and stuff on it and whatnot. Trev's come to give me a hand today and come for a burn. It's a bit hard to drive a boat and film at the same time, so. Just down here, coming out of the Mole River through Mungo, and uh, she's a bit choppy out on the, on the lake today, so we're just gonna cruise back towards Tea Gardens, and kids might jump back in the tube again, and might put the knee board in. But, good day for it. Would be nice if this trailer was dual axle, but um, it's not too bad. So we'll get it down here in the water and get this thing back on and get her home and go from there, I guess. Got the wind <laughs> coming in, but this thing's pretty good to maneuver, so we'll see how we go.
Alright, oh, no. well, good day, I think. We'll get this thing all packed up and get it back home and yeah, had a good day today. So I'll pull our plugs out. And we'll tie her off and go home and do the fun stuff and wash her up. Righto, so wrapping up our final thoughts on the CD switch. We thought it was absolutely awesome. Me and the missus did sit down on the water and actually go over our favorite features on the unit, but the afternoon got so windy that it completely kind of destroyed our, all the audio quality on that video. So I'm just gonna recap on what we sort of spoke about. Her favorite part of the whole unit would have to be the open floor plan and how you can change all the seating around and customize it how you like it. That was her favorite part. My favorite part would probably be the same thing. I like all that open space that you have and that flat deck sort of option um, on that style of uh, pontoon boat. But also the front gate and the way you access the unit was probably my favorite feature as well. Just being able to open that gate, jump onto the beach as you beach it and things. And yeah, super cool just to be able to pull up, open the gate and jump out onto the sand. I thought that was just a, a great way of accessing the unit. That was probably two of our favorite features. A um, little bit more horsepower. We both agreed that it could have a little bit more power. Uh, kids and that could definitely chew behind it like we were. They could kneeboard behind the thing. You might get them up with their wakeboarding, uh, but you're definitely not gonna wakeboard adults and things behind it. It's just not that sort of, it's not designed to do that. So yeah, but you could still definitely go out with the family, definitely have some fun with a tube and stuff. Absolutely perfect for a tube. Um, getting some good whips there behind behind the back of the unit there and having some good, good family fun. So that was probably, yeah, sort of the highlight of the day is having the kids in the tube and um, just watching the smile on their faces and that's pretty much what the whole thing's about was just having fun. So we both agreed that the price of the unit is a little bit too high. Uh, I know there's a lot of inflationary markets on a lot of things right now, um, but I just think that it's just, it's out of the budget for families. I think it's still, it's still in that realm of just like a fun sort of weekend thing to have, but they're priced at $114,000 Australian. Uh, that's with the trailer, but we both agreed that we think it's probably about 25000 too much on what we thought they would cost. So we were thinking they may have been around maybe the 75 to 80 grand mark, uh, but yeah, priced here in Australia, they're 114000 but we do want to say thank you to Lake and Valley Power Sports. I'm going to have all their information in the description. Big shout out to BRP for getting that unit up to Morissette for me from Melbourne. Uh, so that way I could take it for a spin and uh, yeah, go out and show you guys what the CD switch is all about and see if you're interested in getting one. And yeah, it was just basically to, to go out and experience this thing and to see what it was all about. Cause I've been watching them for a couple of years now in the U S and thought it would be great to uh, to go and experience this thing and see how it feels to drive and to operate and just to spend the day on. So I'm hoping you guys enjoyed the video too. But yeah, big shout out, Lake and Valley Power Sports and BRP. Uh, everything in the description for BRP and Lake and Valley if you want to uh, go and check out the Switch. And that's kind of it, guys. And I'll uh, catch you in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed that. See you later. I'm Brent. We're here at Lake and Valley Power Sports at Morissette in New South Wales. We are the local Sea-Doo dealer, also Can-Am and Spider dealer on the Central Coast. Uh, we have been here since 2004, so almost 20 years now. Our location makes it extremely easy for the customers to access. We are a couple of minutes just off the highway. Just some of the things we offer here at the shop, obviously apart from selling, we do offer finance on the new skis. We do run licensing courses. We service all skis and buggies as well. We service the motorbikes, any sort of after sales service, spare parts, accessories and so forth, we also offer here at the shop.